have your Bibles, let's go ahead, open those up today. We're in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians, and we're continuing our series, General Electric Power Company. We'll go, we've gone through Galatians, we'll go through Ephesians, Philippians, and then Colossians. And listen, if you take these in and you chew on the words and you ask the Holy Spirit to help you to apply these things and believe them, I'm telling you, you will have a fresh power flowing through you. God does not want us to be Pharisees. He doesn't want us just to have knowledge that puffs us up and to look at the lost world around us and go how lost they are. And look at the Christians around us and go, I'm much better than them. And then just continue to walk around with an air of superiority. But he wants his word to get in us. He wants his spirit to be like fire upon it. And he wants us to to go into this world with a power to win people for Christ to make a difference, to turn this world right side up for Jesus Christ. And I pray that would be the trajectory that you're on. And we pick it up, verse 3, Ephesians 1, Blessed, or oh, how happy be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you think God is in heaven with a scowl on his face, some old man crotchety complaining, they didn't make the eggs the way I wanted. You got the wrong God. That's not the God of the Bible. That's not Father God, that's the Godfather, we like to say here. He says, blessed is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. So as you walk with the Lord, man, you are going to experience an oh, how happy moment. You are going to be blessed. Blessed is written over every one of your lives, whether you know it or not. Who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. God's given us every spiritual blessing, folks. That's the the realm that really matters. That's the realm that moves the needle. It's the spiritual realm where the heavy lifting is done, where things are really taking place. And Paul here says, he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. So in the spiritual places, the heavenly places. And notice here, in Christ. Now, if you're doing the devotion with your Bible open, I'd encourage you, every time you see that phrase, in Christ or in Him, I'd put a little box around and an underline, a circle, so you can see how many times Paul reminds us, listen, all that you are, all that you have, it's not because of you. It's not because of how smart you are or how ambitious you are. It's because you're in Christ. You're in Him. You're in the Lord. It's like a human in a giant transformer robot. You know, if you go to fight that battle in your own strength, in your own skin, you're going to lose. But if you are in Christ, if you're in the robot, if you're in the, the battle, the battle armor, you'll win. You know, you'll win that battle. You'll see. It says, in Christ, blessing us in the heavenly place in Christ, verse 4, just as he chose us in him, we see it again. So not only do you have the spiritual blessings, but God has chosen us in him. God chose you. Before the foundation of the world, so before God created the heavens and the earth, before God says, light be and light was, he chose you. He knew you. You're important to God. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. God wants us to walk in holiness. He wants us to be whole as he is whole, not to be filling our lives with the garbage of this world. Some of us, it's time to take out the trash. Verse 5, having predestined us, so God predestined you. Your destiny was prepared in advance, is what that means. Having predestined us to adoption as sons, God planned for you to be adopted into his family, not as his slave, but as his son, by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Why did he do it? Because he wanted to. Because it blesses him, makes him happy. Watch this. To the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us accepted in the beloved, This is all God. This is what the Lord has done. He's made you and I accepted in the beloved. You might not feel accepted out in the world, but here in God's kingdom, you are accepted in the beloved. And that's what God often calls his church, the beloved. He says, be loved. Today, be loved. Let the love of God flow on you. Open your Bible, pray. Trust the Lord to bless you today. Believe that his smile is over you. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Nehemiah says, meaning he is smiling over you right now. So walk in that. Ask for the power of the Spirit. Realize you are in Christ and all that that means. And I pray that electricity of God's power would flow through you even now. 
Jesus' name. Father, bless your people. Flow through them, Holy Spirit. Out of our innermost being will flow rivers of living water. And may it be today in their lives that way. In Jesus' name, amen.